Hi everybody, Long Sage from Cole's Boutique here and I fancy a new guitar build. Those of you who have visited our website know that we really really like to build very special and unique guitars and basses and we decided to let you in on one of our projects. To do so we'll uh, start a series of videos uh, dedicated to this specific project on how to build a one-piece, one-of-a-kind guitar using simple and relatively basic tools. I'll try to be as comprehensive as possible and to take you step by step through the process. I must say that we here at Coils Boutique have absolutely no idea whether this uh, project is a bass or a guitar, nor do we have uh, any idea of shape. Um, that's because uh, our method involves receiving uh, the inspiration from the wood itself. And this brings me to our first element of the job, the wood. I have here two beautiful slabs of Corina. Actually, they came out of one slab that we cut in two. As you can see, these slabs are really raw <laughs> and need some cleaning, but I'll give you the measurements of each wood. The longer one is about 145 centimeters long, and the other one, see, 133, which is more than enough for a guitar or bass. And what about the thickness of each slab? I think it's about six centimeters. It's perfect. And about, let's say, almost 48 centimeters wide. Perfect. Okay, before we begin working, we need to make sure that the woods that we're working with are good for the job and are proper and this is because a one-piece guitar is inherently an unstable guitar. You need to use a very stable and very dry and aged wood and I'll teach you exactly how to choose the right wood for you. Of course I really suggest you use some tone wood to get good resonance out of it. Of course, because it's a one piece, they tend to have more resonance in them and we really like to keep it. This is a flat sewn cut. As you can see, the grain goes from right to left, from left to right, instead of up and down. This is called flat sewn. When the grain goes like this, it's called quarter sewn. If you see, the sides are almost quarter sewn, but the center of the block is flat sewn. Why is it so important? Well, it changes the behavior of the instrument. Uh, quarter sewn guitars are, especially the necks, are very, very stiff. And I like to use flat sewns for necks and they're much more flexible. We don't want anything other than a quarter sewn or flat sewn because the guitar might be uh, less stable. And I believe that flat sewn bodies actually sound better. I can't prove it to you, but my experience says so. Okay, so we talked about the fact that this slab is flat sewn and something very interesting happens to flat zones, as you can see, the grain goes like this, but the wood, as it ages and dries, it tends to bend in the opposite direction. See, I just put my fingers here, thanks to Stuart McDonald, I have this straight edge, and I can see that this wood, the top and the bottom, really isn't straight at all. And it's actually very good for me because I want the wood to be aged and dried. And usually this is what happens uh, to woods over time. They bend like so. So I'm pretty confident that this slab of wood and the other one that you saw before are 
pretty great for me to work on and start this project. But now I need to clean everything and choose which of these two I will work on. I have this piece of wood here and I'm gonna reveal its secrets using this Bosch Professional GHO 2682D planer. The fun begin! As you can see, we have the before and after of this slab. Uh, I'm very happy because Corina has a tendency to have creatures that live in it. And I don't see any holes or any major hole that will infect anything during the process. This is very clean and I'm very happy and feel very confident to continue. We have these two slabs here that were roughly planed and cleaned. We have two tiny holes that were revealed, but I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to avoid them during the work. And next episode, we'll try to figure out which of these two is gonna be the guitar that we're gonna make. And this is the end of episode one of how to make your own one piece, one of a kind guitar by hand. All the best guys. I really hope you subscribe and like us.